So this is uh, January 9th, 2016. I just stopped in at the casino down there to warm up. It says 9 degrees, but it's three really 3 degrees. So it's so freezing. And uh, in there I saw this girl that I know from a long years ago. She was married to my friend. Yeah. And uh, she's, she's like 10 years younger than me or maybe even more. Yeah. But she just had two hip replacements. Yeah, my sister had a, my sister was a year younger than me. She had juvenile arthritis, but she didn't, uh, she had juvenile arthritis. And was, you know, so she ended up in knee replacement. And I forgot what year, how many years ago that was. This girl, she's lifted weights and she's in shape and she looks good and she's got a suntan and she's, lean and she looks healthy and she's got two hip replacements? I mean, what's wrong here? That happens, that doesn't make sense to me either because that usually happens to people my age. She? You go to menopause because menopause, you go, you go way, you gotta watch out because that's when you start brittle bones and but somebody but who's not middle age, I don't know, I'm not sure what that would help. She's them. like, she must be like 45 or something. Because, yeah. She's got real bad arthritis or something. Well, she yeah. lifted weights real heavy. Her, my friend's a power lifter, so, so I don't know. So I guess it's something from having arthritis. If it's hereditary or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what she there's ate so either. Forms, there's so many forms of arthritis. It's not funny. I'm just trying to eat healthy. Yeah, because sometimes no matter what you do, sometimes it will bite you in the butt. <laughs> you know. Yeah. There's, there's so many forms of arthritis, it's not funny. Some stuff is hereditary, and other stuff, I don't you know, all the crap they didn't do. To I the think air. that you can avoid some of that by proper diet. I think that eating certain things like non kosher pork and shrimp and lobsters, that's got to hurt. And then not eating the raw vegetables, that hurts worse. And then eating the processed foods, that were. Where is adds to it, and then the GMOs that adds to it, and yeah, all the herbicides and pesticides. And you got fluoride and chloride in your water too. That fluoride ruins your bones. Did you know that? Oh, is that? Huh? Maybe yeah, that's fluoride it. Fluoride ruins your bones. Oh, yes, it does. It doesn't have a particular damn bit. It ruins your bones. After that, they got fourteen things that fluoride does to you. Don't eat fluoride. And what? Every, How do you avoid fluoride? I guess bo you, you eat bottled water. You buy bottled water. You try <laughs> to stay away from crap as much as you can. Because if you boil it in a few minutes with salt, that doesn't... That doesn't get rid of the fluoride. No, it doesn't get rid of the fluoride. That's what I mean. It makes it worse. In fact, if you put a little table salt and you use fluoride water, it would make it even worse for your body. I read that long back. I read that this about weeks ago. Yeah, that's... No salt doesn't. It makes it even worse. Why would somebody put salt in their water anyway? Well, if you've got a... Give savers or something or whatever. Oh, when they use the, they use salt to like make soft water or something, don't they? I don't think that's what you're talking about. Though. No, we, some people put salt in there maybe when they boil pasta or something. Oh, okay. When they're yeah. cooking food. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Himalayan sea salt. Now that's a different story.